Hello viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is just me an open source channel. Right, in this video, let's look at one of the concept of uh, request routing, one of the feature of traffic management, which is request routing. So um, if you haven't followed my previous videos, I would advise you to follow my three previous videos, um, how to install Istio, how to deploy a sample booking for application and how to um, uh, add the Grafana and the Kiali web interface. So we have done that on the last three videos. This video is about the request routing. So I'm not going to deploy anything new here. So I'm continuing where I left uh, from my previous video. So I've got all the components installed. So I've got uh, my cluster, kubectl version minus minus short. So I've got my cluster, which is running uh, entirely in Docker, Kubernetes in Docker kind. I've done a separate video. If you want, you can follow that. And I've installed Helm and I've installed Metal LB for load balancing. I've also installed Istio, kubectl minus n Istio system, get pods. So I've got the Istio uh, installed. kubectl get pods. So I've got the sample book info application installed. Gateway, virtual service, destination rules, all done. So if you want to know more about all these, please follow my previous videos. So this is a series. So if you jump in on any particular video in the series, you might not be able to get the full understanding of Istio. So I would advise you to start from the first video, uh, which is video 51, I think, cube 51, I'm not sure. Um, but start from Istio, uh, the first video, and go through all the videos uh, in the series. That will make more sense. Okay, so we've got everything ready. The first thing I'm going to do is request routing. So what am I exactly going to do in this video? Uh, so you know, there is a product page. The product page calls the um, ratings page, reviews page. I think it's better to show you um, in the Kiali web interface. Okay, so kubectl minus n Istio system get service Kiali. Kiali is running as cluster IP, so I'm going to um, forward, port forward, um, so that I can access it on my uh, from my local host outside of the cluster. But before that, I'm also going to generate some traffic. Let me first verify if my book info application is accessible from outside the cluster. So 172.17.0.200 slash product page. Cool, so that's our book info application. So at the moment, uh, it's sending traffic to all the three versions of the book info application. Let me start generating some traffic. Watch curl. So I'm basically using a curl command in watch uh, to send traffic every couple of seconds to this product page uh, website. Okay, so that's running. And now I'm going to, um, let me start another terminal here, kubectl minus n Istio system port forward Kiali. So Kiali is the part and I'm going to forward port 20001 to 20001 on my local host. So now we should be able to access the Kiali web interface. If we go to localhost colon 20001. Okay, so that's our Kiali web interface. Um, it's running traffic for the last one minute. So there was no traffic, there were no traffic. And since we started the curl command, uh, we started seeing some traffic. Okay, so let's get into the application. Sorry, graph. And then look at the version, the graph. Okay, so we have this one here to start with. So this is our sample book info application. At the moment, the product page uh, is sending requests to reviews page as well as to the details page. And the reviews page uh, has got three different versions. So product page is sending requests to three different versions of the reviews page. So what I'm trying to do in this video is to uh, direct the traffic to one particular version. So if you've got multiple versions of uh, your microservice, so how would you direct the traffic to a specific version? So I'm going to show that by editing a YAML file and then I will also show you um, how to do that on this Kiali web interface itself. Okay, so for that, I'm going to add request percentage for the edge label. So now we can see 30%, roughly around 35% of each traffic uh, is going to each version of the microservice. So it's kind of round robin because uh, the product page is sending traffic to all the three versions of the reviews page at the moment. So traffic is split equally, although it might not be 
equally accurate, um, like say for 33.33 percentage or so on, but it's roughly splitting the traffic between these three microservices. So our idea here is to generate uh, a YAML file or update the YAML file and to make the product page call just one version of the reviews, direct the traffic just to V1. Let's see how to do that. And I'm also going to enable traffic animation so that will help us uh, see that in the real time. So that's our application to start with and we are going to update the YAML file to send the traffic to just V1 version of the reviews microservice. So it's not going to send traffic to V2 or V3. So at the moment it's sending 36% and 31% of the traffic to V2 and V3 and the traffic is flowing. Let's update the YAML files. Okay, so in here, if I say kubectl r, if I do, okay, let me do that on this terminal, which is slightly bigger and I'll run the watch command on this terminal. Okay, here, vi cd to my play directory, vi uh, samples book info networking virtual service all v1. So that's the YAML file that contains the configuration. Okay, if I do that, so that's the virtual service for the product page and virtual service for the reviews page, you can see here the HTTP route is saying destination is reviews v1. So at the moment it has got just one destination so it will be sending the traffic just to the version 1 of the uh, reviews microservice. It won't have anything else. So that's what we are going to apply. So these are all the samples provided by Istio when you downloaded Istio. kubectl create minus f and the file samples book info networking virtual service all v1.yaml okay so that's created and now if we go to this one here you will start looking at you will see more traffic will be going towards version 1 so now it's 40% 31 27% and in a short while you will see all the traffic will be going to uh, version v1 and no traffic will be going to v2 or v3 so already you've started seeing that 60% of the traffic is going to v1 and the number of traffic percentage of traffic going to v2 and v3 has dropped down to 22 and 18 percent and it refreshes every 15 seconds here Kiali web interface although you can configure it differently let's say we want to conf uh, refresh every 10 seconds so now you can see 82% of the traffic is going to v1 and only 9% is going to v2 and v3 so there's a slight shift in the traffic so now you can see uh, the animation here so this is where the animation uh, comes in handy so now you can see the traffic flow right so ingress gateway so our curl command is hitting the ingress gateway which is sending the request to the product page product microservice the product microservice is sending 50% of the traffic to the details microservice and another 50% to the reviews and 100% of the traffic is going to version 1 and version 2 and version 3 as you can see here the edge is gray which means there is no traffic going on and you can see the traffic animations that there is no traffic going to v2 or v3 or to the ratings microservice okay so that's one thing right and if you want to do that if you want to do the same in the Kiali web interface how would you do it so for that I'm going to uh, delete that again kubectl delete minus f okay so that's uh, deleted now the traffic should be flowing again uh, back to all the uh, nodes all the services refresh refresh okay so now you can see 82 percent and version 2 and version 3 is also starting to uh, receive some traffic 9% 9% okay so let's wait 17% 21% okay cool so now as you can see here we've enabled both all the versions v1 v2 and v3 and the traffic is flowing to all the versions so that's that's the uh, power of Kiali you can visualize the traffic it's very powerful uh, very good way to visualize your traffic bar the traffic is flowing between your microservices okay so how would you do that uh, within uh, Kiali web interface so for that I'm going to click this reviews and I'm going to click 
this one reviews here and I'm going to select actions so at the moment create weighted routing create matching routing suspend traffic delete all traffic routing so these are all disabled because we have got a traffic routing uh, enabled already so we have to delete all the traffic routing first yes delete and now let's create it create weighted routing so this is how you create so if you want to send a specific percentage of traffic to a specific version let's say um, I don't want to send any traffic to version 1 I don't want to send any traffic to version 3 I want to direct all the traffic to version 2 of the reviews so this is how you do it okay so create it and go back to graph now let's see all the traffic will be shifting to version 2 and version 1 and version 3 um, will receive no traffic okay refresh you can see here version 2 um, has started to receive more traffic so 50 percentage of the traffic is going to 52 sorry v2 and the traffic going to v1 and v3 is uh, coming down now to 27 and 22 percent okay so let's wait for a few more moments okay so 72 percent the traffic to v1 and v3 has dropped down to 13 percent refresh so every couple of seconds you will see and v1 has already stopped receiving traffic 95 percent is going to v2 and in a short while 100 percent of the traffic will be going to uh, version 2 of the reviews microservice okay let's wait for that one let's quickly refresh okay cool so now 100 percent of the traffic is going to v2 and v1 and v3 are not receiving any traffic at all so v2 as you know is calling the ratings microservice and v2 is all stars in black let's verify that so in here let's um, click refresh okay i'm refreshing it and every time i refresh it always it goes to the black star which means it's version 2 okay let's go back and change that click on the reviews actions update weighted routing so now I say let's say I want to route all the traffic to version 3 and you can do that or if you want I want 50% of the traffic uh, to go to version 3 and version 2 but none to version 1 okay so update service updated let's go back to the graph refresh refresh okay so now version 3 and version 2 should be getting equal amount of traffic let's verify that yep so now version 2 and version 3 are uh, receiving the traffic version 1 is not receiving any traffic so actually I had this in mind so I wanted to do this as a separate video but as I'm in the Kiali web interface uh, it was easy for me to do it in the same video instead of creating a new video all I wanted to show you is how to split the traffic between multiple versions of a microservice so now you can see here version 2 and version 3 are getting 50% of the traffic okay so now if I go back to the app and if I click uh, if I keep refreshing so now you can see red star black star red star black star red star so that means my um, traffic is going to version 2 and version 3 in a round robin so 50% of the traffic is going to v2 and another 50% is going to v3 and no traffic is going to v1 so that's how you uh, do traffic routing so in my next video let me show you how to create matching routing so that's what we are going to see in the next video all right so um, based on the request header so if something matches uh, in the request header I want to route the traffic to a specific version for example say uh, if the traffic is coming from uh, Mozilla Firefox as a browser agent I want to redirect the traffic to version 1 if it's coming from Internet Explorer or Safari I want to redirect the traffic to version 2 of the application or if a request is coming from a specific user uh, in the request header I want to direct the traffic to a uh, version 3 of the microservice application so that's what we are going to be seeing in my next video I will show you how to do that on the uh, command line by editing the uh, YAML file as well as uh, on the web interface Kiali web interface 
Okay, thank you so much for your time uh, watching this video today. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or any doubts, please let me know. I should be able to respond to you the earliest I can. And uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.